Hello and welcome. This is Self Psychology and my name is Marcos Quinones, a licensed psychotherapist in Puerto Rico and New York. First of all, I'd like to encourage you to visit my website www.thejoveinstitute.org where, where you will find a wealth of information on CBT and REBT, the theories I use in helping people get better. Also, I encourage you to send emails to mquinones at nyu.edu. I'd like to receive emails on specific questions you may have or on suggestions for future videos. This is our sixth video in the video series of Self Psychology. And usually on my sixth session with clients, I like to do a wrap up, sort of like a summary of what we might have learned, how the client might have grown in these past six sessions. So that's kind of what I'd like to focus on today. One of the things I haven't spoken about in this video series are schemas. And I'd like to start off with a brief explanation on what a schema may be. Now think of schemas as little personalities. For example, when you're growing up, um, you may have negative parents. Parents that are saying, don't go to the store, something bad may happen. When you stay over your friend's house, be careful with this or the other thing. Uh, make sure you buckle your seatbelt because you can get into an accident. A lot of negative information, a lot of negative messages. Then you may develop what's called a negative schema, which is like a little personality. Now we have many of these schemas. So let's say your parents are negative and you develop this negative schema. You may also develop a depressive schema because your entire family are not very happy people. So they tend to be depressed and they tend to be sad and experience um, things like this. There are also positive schemas like humor, uh, responsibility, and these are little personalities that we pick up when we're children as we get older. For example, if we really identify with a teacher and she's very responsible, then we may take on that little personality. So we can have five or six of these small personalities called schemas in our psyche at, at any given point. The reason this is important is because now in adulthood, these schemas get activated. They get turned on by different events that may happen. So, for example, um, someone dies in the family. Okay? Now, people would normally feel sad and regretful, yet they will be able to continue to go to work. They will not fall into a depression. They will grieve on a normal basis. However, if you have this depressive schema, this depressive little personality, then it's possible that the death, this activating event, may cause to activate the schema or turn it on. And instead of feeling normally sad and normally grief, you may fall into a depression. These schemas activate one another. So if, for example, something like that happens and the depressive schema gets activated, that schema may activate another one of your little personalities, like negativistic, like negative schema. So if this happens, your, your depressive schema gets activated, it activates your negative schema, then it becomes a little more dangerous because the negative schema might might say, well, you know, um, it's not going to get better. Sort of like hopeless. So you're feeling down, you're feeling depressed, and things aren't going to get better because that's a negative attitude. 
Also, positive schemas may activate other positive schemas. So we have to look at both sides. The ones I'm concerned about are the negative ones because those negative schemas produce negative emotions like depression, jealousy, anger, frustration, etc. The different emotions we've discussed in the previous videos and the ones we're going to discuss in future videos. Schemas are treated just like any other emotion. You see, when we were talking about the ABCs in the past videos, A is the activating event, B is the belief, and C is the emotion. Well, the B, well, that's the schema. When we get to the core, when we get to the real underlying belief, that's the schema we're talking about, and that's what we want to change. So if when you were a child, you grew up in a negative family and you have this negative schema, well, it's a lie. You're telling yourself lies. So what we want to do is change it. We want to change it to a healthy schema. So you stop telling yourself lies and you tell yourself the truth. Now, how do we do that? Well, as before, we have this activating event. Let's say someone dies and you feel depressed. That's the C, that's the emotion. Now, what is it that you're telling yourself? Now, upper level, like automatic thought, you may be telling yourself, oh, this is sad, I'm never going to see this person again, and that's what's making me depressed. But those feelings don't make you depressed. What makes you depressed is deeper, core type of issues, core type of beliefs. And a core belief, in, in this case, may be, oh, this is going to be horrible. I'm not going to be able to see this person no more. I'm not going to be able to stand it. How can I continue to live on? My life is worthless without this person. See, these are the kind of messages that if we tell ourselves this, we will get depressed. And those are the ones we want to dispute and create an alternative, um, healthy belief for. Okay? So that's a summary of what we've worked on before, the tool, the technique of how we have an, a negative emotion. We use the ABCs to um, address this emotion and we come up with a positive, healthy, rational belief to replace the irrational, the lies that we tell ourselves. I hope this was clear because that's my point in this six videos to kind of clarify a little and to go a little deeper into what the beliefs mean and where do we get these beliefs from. Like I said, we get them when we're growing up, when we're children and we're learning how we function in this world. And anything that we learn, we can unlearn. And that's the great thing about this. Great? So make sure you live happy and live healthy. Until next time.